Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to explain how to apply thermal paste or thermal compound, whatever you want to call it, to a computer's processor. Now, the most common reason you'll be doing this is because perhaps uh, you have a CPU overheating problem. So for example, this PC over here, uh, I think it's about 10 to 14 years old. It's my original gaming PC me and my friends built together. It's actually running the original Intel quad-core processor and, um, you know, it has some issues where it's like it's being used and then all of a sudden it will just shut down on its own if I boot it back up before Windows pops up the motherboard is prompting me with this warning message saying that the computer shut down because the CPU temperature is too high. So that of course the most easy fix is to reapply the thermal paste. Now you might be wondering why am I doing this with an old machine you know it it's, does it still apply? Yes the concepts still apply in fact uh, the $2,800 gaming PC I built last year, uh, I'll put a link to the first video of that, how to build a gaming PC in the video description, the concepts still apply. So, uh, you know, to fix a computer that, you know, is having CPU over, over uh, temperature problems, you're, you're going to have to spend about 10 bucks to get that um, $100 PC or a few hundred dollars you spent. In some cases, if you spent a few thousand dollars, you know, spend the 10 bucks, fix your computer, let it run properly, right? You don't want to have permanent damage and then you're really messed up. So the initial investment you're putting down, is roughly $10 depending on where you live, um, is thermal paste. Now there tends to be some good brand name thermal paste, personally I don't really care. The one that comes stock with your processor, it, there's nothing wrong with it, the ones that comes with Intel processor fans for example. Regardless, the brand I'm using is Arctic Silver, it's pretty popular. Um, you should be using a microfiber cloth to clean off the initial thermal compound paste that comes with the processor fan. Do not use tissue paper. That's probably one of the worst things you could use because tissues have a lot of dust residue that fly around um, when you're just moving it around even the slightly and they tend to tear easily and you might leave some pieces sitting around. Uh, paper towels, they're more resilient than tissue paper and they leave less dust particles. But again, if one piece is ripped off and you can't see it and it's left in there, you're in a big trouble and you could end up with some permanent damage in your machine. Get a microfiber cloth. Uh, you can get this from any hardware store, um, some convenience stores perhaps, um, relatively cheap. You can get them online on eBay, dirt cheap. And the last thing you'll need is isopropyl, 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 I don't know. You know what, I'm just gonna put the spelling just below here. Isopropyl alcohol, I believe it's called, is 99%. This is not 99% alcohol to consume. Do not consume it. Um, but you will need this. You can usually get this in any drugstore. Pretty easy to find. So these three things you'll be needing to fix your computer processor overheating problems. It's about 10 bucks. So definitely recommend you get all these things to fix uh, what could end up being hundreds of dollars worth of damage. Okay, so I flipped my computer over so you guys can get an easy view. I've opened up one side of the case and I'm removing the processor fan. This is a stock processor fan from Intel, which actually they still use the same pin mechanism to lock it against the motherboard as you can see I'm, I'm struggling with. So I will be fast forwarding some of these bits just to kind of save time. Um, but there's one more thing I almost forgot to mention in, in terms of the items you have to buy, you know, to apply this fix. That's an anti-static strap. Uh, so basically what it does is prevent static shock from damaging any components because the slightest shock can go to, you know, costing hundreds of dollars worth of damage on your uh, computer components. So as you see, um, there is the uh, CPU paste that was from the stock um, coolant thermal paste that came with the Intel processor fan. Uh, so it's a bit degraded, you know, I haven't done it in years. So essentially you just want to disconnect the fan and the power. So what I'm going to do is take my microfiber cloth. You should not be doing this over the motherboard. I just want to kind of have it on camera a little bit just so you guys can see it. You're just going to do a quick dab of that um, isopropyl alcohol and just rub it on the processor fan. Now you can rub it on the processor fan first or the processor outer shell. It doesn't matter which order you do it in, but I'm just quickly rubbing it off and you can see it's, it's a lot cleaner than before. Um, what I tend to do is do it twice per a device just so I'm that much more um, likely to clean everything off. Then you move over to the outer shell um, that's just above the processor. Uh, again, you want to be very careful here not to spill anything on your motherboard or any of the components. So try to do that dab um, away from the computer. Again, I'm doing it above the motherboard even though I shouldn't, just for demonstration purposes. And this is a super old machine anyway. So you're not going to rub too hard, you're just going to give it a quick, um, you know, rub down kind of in a circular motion even works pretty well. So you, you see how easily, uh, you know, applied. Uh, but I'm going to do it a second time again, just to be safe. 
Now, we're at the part where we have to apply the thermal paste itself. There is a lot of misconception out there where people think you have to dab it and you know, make a huge line across or make a circular motion across the processor. That's incorrect. All you want to do is apply a small amount. You're just going to make it the size of a pea. You know, the food that you eat, not, not that other... Yeah. Anyway, just a small dab, as you can see I'm putting on. Um, nothing too big. You don't want to make a huge circle. This will spread very nice. All you need to do is make it the size of a pea at the center of the processor. That's actually a little bit more than necessary. Uh, it's kind of flowing out a bit too much. But that's actually more than enough what I just applied. That's all you need. You put your processor fan back on and you're set to go. I know that sounds like it's too little, but it will spread and guaranteed it will work. If you're still having another type of um, CPU overheating issue, that's a completely separate issue not related to your thermal paste or maybe the fan when you place it on just like I'm doing now was not put on properly. That's pretty much it. You reapply your processor fan, um, you know, put everything back together, boot up your computer and you should be good to go. So if you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, links in the video description. Be sure to check out that guide on how I built a $2,800 gaming PC, which also applies to any other PC nowadays rather. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit that like button and thanks for watching.